Welcome to SER System Test 13. Today we're going to be testing the fire alarm system that I wired in this garage and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the devices. So if you didn't know already, the panel is a Kitty FX-64. It is a 64 point addressable fire alarm control panel. For the pull station we have a Siemens HMS-S, as you can see it's single action, and yes this is an addressable pull station but I converted it to conventional for this test. Going up we have a Faraday strobe, the model is 169-96-E and the strobe is fixed 75 candela. On the other side of the garage we have another Siemens fire alarm device trying to keep the system realistic here. And as you can see, it is the Siemens UMM-T, and it is set on its normal horn tone and being coded to code 3. So we'll see that today. Over here by the fire alarm control panel, we have a Safety Technologies International break glass for key concealment container. And all this does is hold a spare set of keys. So today we're going to pretend that my normal set of keys, I lost it. And then we're going to simulate a fire alarm situation where I need to get my keys in order to access the fire alarm control panel. But remember, I lost my normal pair of keys, so we'll be breaking the glass to get to my spare set today. As you can see, the glass on the device is not actually glass, it's just plastic. And uh, a subscriber actually sent this in to me to test out, so thank you very much for that. I have not personally seen one of these in a building, but I'm sure they're out there and they exist. All right, we'll go ahead and activate the fire alarm system and see everything go off using the pull station. Here we go. It says fire pull down. Pretty self-explanatory. good to finally silence that. I actually just used the glass breaker that's on my knife to break the glass there and I've actually had to use this once as a firefighter to break a car door window and uh, it works pretty well as you can see so very effective tool there. Now we'll go ahead and replace the glass and put the key back in because as you can see I do have a couple extra copies. Okay to replace this first got to make sure all of the plastic is out. This piece kind of just pops open as you can see here. And then make sure all the glass or plastic is out again. There we go, nice and clean on the inside. And then we take our keys, put them in. And then we will go ahead and put the replacement plate back on. And then lastly, close it back up again. There we go. Now the only way I can remove this from the wall now is to break this glass. So it works pretty well. And we can go ahead and reset the fire alarm pull station. It just takes a hex key and after a few twists the handle will just pop back up because it's spring loaded. And then when that happens we can just retighten the hex screw.
Okay, the key has been replaced. The pull station has been reset. Seems like everything's back to normal, so we can go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm system. Just by pushing the reset button. Now that the system is reset, I can go ahead and show you this other feature the panel has called lamp tests. It's just a little feature that the fire alarm inspectors can use to make sure that all of the LEDs and lights that are on the display board there are working. So to use it, you just push it. And as you can see, it turns on every light and the complete LCD. And that way I can see everything is working. And it will stop automatically after a few more seconds or I can just manually turn it off by hitting it again. Just like that. All right, everyone, I think that is going to conclude the system test today. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone.